What's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Patty, and we are a very, 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 very thankful Patty today. Um, our collab video with uh, Jay Giggs just dropped. He's doing a new series where he's kind of taking um, content creators that he's familiar with um, and that have been part of, like, Raid Shadow Legends and showing what games, you know, they're kind of doing stuff now on. Because um, there's a few of us that have, you know, branched off and started doing some other stuff. I don't really feel like I count as a Raid Shadow Legends content creator because I only had like a hundred subs when I was covering the game. Um, <laughs> we definitely didn't have no 50 subscriber day. You know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> um, but there's a lot of new eyes on the game. Um, I've already, you know, gone back and forth with messages with a couple of people that, you know, picked it up that... Um, you know from these other communities so I wanted to revisit the new player guide and just kind of go over some stuff uh, for new people to expect uh, some of the most important systems some of the stuff that we know you know now almost a month into the game uh, you know what is good to focus on and everything and we're just gonna kind of try and cover some of the basics and get everybody squared away um, so if you're uh, if you're a viewer that's been around for a little while we ain't going to cover nothing new that you probably don't know, boo. So I'll, I love you to death. Thank you for showing up. I don't know if you need to watch the rest of it. Uh, this is mostly going to be for new people and everything. Um, I will say, though, uh, if you are an experienced player um, that's just checking out the video uh, and you see any comments from, you know, anybody lost down below, help them out, boo. I do my best to answer people. Um, but we get a few more comments than we used to. Let me silence my phone. Um, so I am, I am still working on replying to everybody as often as I can, but unfortunately I am not locked down with everything and I am, uh, still having to go to work. So until that happens, I'm gonna do the best I can. All right. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and jump into the actual new player guide itself. So you guys are going to be going through a hot mess of story. There is a lot of story to get through before what I feel like the game actually starts. Um, between like level, like eh, I'd say like 25 to 45, somewhere in there, the game actually really starts and picks up and you've gotten almost everything unlocked and things are actually starting to take form. Um, but it takes a little while. So uh, <sighs> one of the things that... Uh, I'll mention right off the bat is your core is going to be the most important thing for you to focus on in terms of the resources it costs to get these gems equipped and leveled up um, there's nothing else in the game that's gonna make you stronger and what I mean by that is everything else in this game makes you stronger so it's hard to figure out which ones you should be prioritizing and which ones really have the most impact um, after the core, I would probably say allies have the next biggest impact, uh, followed by pets, and, and then, you know, motors, and then your, uh, you know, all this kind of stuff, like my avatar gives me some stats, you know what I mean? Like everything feeds into your power in this game. Um, so your core is going to be your most important for new players, ally is going to be really beneficial for you. And then by the time you're in like the range of 50 to 70, um, pets and everything will, will actually get to the point to where they're, they're starting to get pretty good for you and increasing some decent stats. Uh, and then motor probably last. <laughs> Sorry, motor. Um, another thing that we want to touch on real quick is that, you know, if you don't spend any of the free diamonds that the game gives you from, you know, achievements that you get from playing all the early stuff, and leveling up uh, by the time you get to like 45 50 the game will have given you enough free diamonds for you to go into the mall here over to the store tab and buy gems for your core um, and these are by default going to be level 5 gems and you want to look for the ones that only cost 48 this is like a marketplace um, so you have to like say refresh to see different prices okay now we have a few more at 48 so you only want to buy gems at 48 because everything else is a ripoff. Um, <clears throat> and you want to take these gems and equip them over here. If you're confused about, oh, well, what do I want to put in these? What are actually important? Um, we can go to your character sheet up here. And there's an exclamation point down here at the bottom. Oh, I just realized you can't see my, uh, my mouse. Sad face boy. Um... <clears throat> 
and this will tell you what all your stats actually give you and this is really important um, because in the core it just tells you okay red gems give you int uh, green gems uh, give you dexterity and then on the core side it doesn't tell you what those stats are doing for you so you actually have to go here and see what your stats are it actually tells you what you want to prioritize to the M and the arrow next to these three means that these are my most beneficial stats um, <clears throat> So that'll, that'll give you a little bit of insight. And then on this screen as well, it'll tell you what your most important substats are. Uh, so magic attack obviously is you know most important for me as an assassin, followed by multi-strike. If you're not an assassin, those are your two most important guys. Or no, if you are an assassin, you didn't know that. That's the most important guys. All right, so outside of the core and... Um, <clears throat> Again, you'll, you'll get enough gems to get all level 5, and uh, once you get certain level brackets, uh, you get more benefits from them. Um, so, like, level 5 is one where you'll get a decent boost from getting all of those. Level 7, all level 7 gems is going to be the next one that you get a little boost from, um, and so on and so forth. So, that's your, that's your core real quick. Your ally system, if you're one of our Rage Shadow Legends people... Uh, this is kind of the gotcha game mechanic of here. We go into here, there's an event going on, so there's special summons. We get a free recruit every so often. <clears throat> this pulls out a person. We can send allies to do bounties, and then we can also equip our best allies to aid us randomly in combat. Kind of like uh, Marvel vs. Capcom almost. You equip these guys in your center, and you're able to see, you know, what skills they have. Um, this dude, I'm a huge fan of because he not only gives me a randomly one of these four almost 10k in buffs, which it doesn't matter which one those go into. That's so much that it's gonna impact, have a good impact regardless. Um, eh, that, that's not bad, but the multi strike on this is also also really nice. <clears throat> so you can get a little team equipped and everything. Um, there's two star, three star, four star, five star, and then six star um, allies. Uh, my boy Ming here and Luminous are the only two six stars that I have, but we can actually look at a picture here that shows all of them. Um, it's hard to get all of the information on all of these people, um, so we're still, uh, still working on all the resources we need to put a tier list video together. Um, but Ming is one of the best uh, starting out. Once you get high level, um, it switches over to uh, Luminous, Airy, basically anyone that has uh, a bond with Luminous out of these friends. So uh, Luminous, her, I've seen a few people then use um, Chise over here. We'll revisit the high end stuff, but <clears throat> allies are, are pretty solid overall. And all of them have, you know, pretty decent stuff. So no matter which ones you pull, you'll be able to optimize it to a certain degree and pick some of the ones that are going to be best for you and then roll with that. Um, so, you know, that's our little gotcha game system there. Um, <clears throat> once, uh, once you get into the 20s, you'll have uh, about half of your events and you can start doing some things. Um, I think the very first dungeon opens at what, 22? Yeah. So you can start doing some dungeons um, early on, and then the others take a, take a little while to open up. Yeah, 55 and 70 are, is the next two brackets for that. Um, but your events tab is how you're going to go in and queue for things. There's everything in here from like uh, Ace Trip is running around randomly, and it's just a quick little quest chain. Uh, Salon of Int is actually a quiz. Um, same thing with Gossip Society. Uh, and you get experience from that, so, you know, being a smart guy wins for once, maybe. Um, <clears throat> a couple of tips, though, for new players. I would save your Ace Trips and some of your daily stuff. I would focus on the story once you hit a point in the story where it says you need to be, you know, uh, X level to be able to continue during the story. Then come in and hit this stuff. Or if you've done a few of the story and you don't feel like going through it um, and you want to go ahead and knock out some of your dailies and then log off for the day, then go ahead and jump in and do these. You know what I mean? They reset every 24 hours. 
Um, if you miss doing any of this stuff, uh, there will actually be a little box up in the corner next to alarm clock that says retrieve. And you're able, able to recover, I want to say, like 50 to 70% of the XP you missed out on yesterday as stored XP. It might be less. It might be 30 to 60%. But still, there's uh, that's that's definitely a, a nice little bonus. So you're able to push a little bit further if you, uh, if you miss a day or two. So... <sighs> Uh, athletics is going to be all your PvP based stuff. Um, it's it's a uh, it's a good time in PvP. I've got a couple PvP videos. If that's your thing, you should go check those out though. Um, PvP is very fun in this game, but it is not. Uh, <clears throat> some classes have some more strength than others, and you have to play characters about those strengths a certain way. There's a there's a whole meta discussion there. <laughs> Um, I, I promise Assassin's life gets better. I'm almost 80 now, and I'm doing real good in PvP, boo. Like, I just make terrible things happen for everyone that's not on my team. It's... We'll, we'll get there, that's all I'm saying. Anyone that's confused right now, for the last month, everyone's been going, Oh man, Gunslinger isn't... It's not doing the damage. I went, Oh man, I tried Assassin, and I'm still getting... Still getting bullied by Blade Masters in PvP. Blade Masters have eight stuns. There's nothing any of us we can do, guys. <laughs> um, but there is, you know, tactics and how you want to play that and everything. So check out those videos if you're interested in that kind of stuff. Um, another important thing that I want to touch on and for new players is when you get new pieces of gear. Uh, let me see if I have anything in the bank here. So <clears throat> say we get these are our new pants. Um, and they're not better than the pants we already have. Okay. Well, it's not completely trash. We can transfer stats from gear. So if I wanted to take the wind attack or fire attack off of these pants and put them on, you know, one of the stats over here, I can. And when I get a new pair of pants, I'm going to be able to move over a good portion of these stats onto the new gear. This gear also gets a bonus once you get all of the stats on it purple. It's a pretty cool gear system overall. Um, I'm a really big fan of it. Uh, I don't need wind attack or fire attack as an assassin. The only elemental attack I need is earth. Uh, and that puts up all my skills. I'm saving those in case I do a character change and, uh, and want to actually use those stats on something. So it's <clears throat> the gear system itself in this game is pretty interesting. Um, once you get further into it and you're actually... Uh, getting a fair amount of purple gear and going through it and uh, not needing it, dismantling it, getting the mats from that. Um, once you start, where's our gear? Uh, oh, right here. I was literally hovering over it. Um, there's a uh, <clears throat> draconian uh, enchantments kind of. Um, Drax are, are, are super, super great and you get them off of certain epics. Um, but you can also, there's a vendor where you can go and essentially unlock some of these. Um, and they can be really, really good. Another important thing is they also increase their benefit with your level. So it's not like if you unlock one of these buffs early, it's only going to be useful to you early game. Um, it's it's going to continue to grow with you and be useful the whole time. Um, so it's, 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 it's really, really, really interesting. Uh, we're not even going to get into the enhanced system. <clears throat> I need to go back and, and mess with that. But <laughs> oh, okay, so we're not we're not doing too, too bad. Um, some of the smaller things that we can touch on is your motor is important-ish. Um, you're going to get stats from it as you unlock it and level it up. Um, one of the requirements for unlocking either your S or A rank talents is having an upgraded vehicle. Um, and it can take a lot of these evolution stones to upgrade a vehicle. So kind of just pick one to start with and don't, you know, spread your evolution stones across a whole bunch of them, focus them so that you're able to get the a level, um, thing for your, uh, for your talent assessment. Uh, real quick overview on skills. You have to go into here, upgrade all of your skills when you get a level. Um, and you can just hit upgrade all. You don't have to go through and do them individually. 
Um, talents you unlock at certain different levels, and then there's a quest that you have to do for them. Um, <clears throat> and, and they can be pretty, pretty beneficial. Uh, definitely noticed some solid damage once I got my uh, S rank talent. Um, EXs, this system is a lot slower to unlock. Um, anyone out that's not a whale is probably, you know, my level or maybe two or three higher. Um, <clears throat> so this isn't as important for new players. You only have a handful of choices in here from the get go. Um, your plan is where you can change, you know, your loadouts, um, back on your skill. If you go into combat settings, you can also change what you want the AI to prioritize things as. Um, so that can be, that can be, that's a pretty cool tool. I like that they give that to you and you're not just stuck with, uh, it just doing whatever it wants. Um, sigils are just small stat upgrades. Those, uh, don't give you a whole, whole lot. So they're not a huge, huge improvement. Um, I feel like that's a pretty good start. Uh, another thing, uh, don't ignore a career, pick one of them and start doing them. Um, you can unlock them both if you want to. Um, but essentially this, uh, is a way for you to get diamonds. Um, you make things, uh, and then you can essentially list them on the mall. Oh yeah, no, that's another, another big thing. Okay. So wait until the 16 minute mark to talk about money. I guess that's smart. Um, <laughs> they're not on to us. So if you want to spend money on this game, I would highly recommend getting the investment pack. And only getting that for now until you get higher level, 70, 75. Because um, <clears throat> you're going to get enough from this investment pack. There's a 1 to 60 bracket and then a 60 to 90 bracket. Um, <clears throat> you get enough from this that you're able to do a lot. Um, so you don't... It's not going to be worth it to sink a whole bunch more money into this. Um, unless you find you're really going to be invested. If you're just kind of checking it out, I recommend just get the investment bundle. <clears throat> Try to spend that as wisely as you can. Remember, core is the most important. Core, core, core. Um, if you get the investment pack, I recommend you focus on getting your core up to plus seven um, at the very least all across the board with the investment pack. Um, <clears throat> if you want to spend actual money a <sighs> couple of things that are pretty important um, where is the top up there we go so you get rewards for spending money to buy coupons you can't buy diamonds um, you can essentially only buy coupons and then coupons have a one-to-one -one trade ratio for diamonds um, but coupons you're able to buy more things than you can with diamonds. Uh, so it's a bit of a tricky system. Uh, I am almost positive that if you buy the daily offers that these go towards your top up. If you want to spend money on coupons, I recommend you do those. And then instead of just outright buying them from here. Um, <clears throat> and then the best thing, the best thing you can spend your diamonds on um, oop, not that <sighs> is gonna be uh, the gotcha game in it they literally call it gotcha so if you click on uh, the top right corner of the screen where you see castle college you know and then your coordinates you'll see a list of all of your vendors that are in the zone that you're in right here so if we go to the gotcha shop real quick which shouldn't be too far away um, <clears throat> this is the best way to gamble your coupons to get diamonds. Um, cause some of the things, let's get off the buy, ba, 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 ba. some of the stuff that you can, uh, get through this, you're able to then sell on the mall and get diamonds for those. Uh, for instance, if you happen to pull this, that's in like instant 10 K diamonds at the very least. And you can do a lot with that. Um, a single pull if you don't this is based off I can't remember what it is if I didn't have these little game cards down here 
um, but it can be kind of expensive to do. So, you know, I don't, <sighs> I recommend just sticking with the investment pack um, because the other stuff is a little steeper and a little bit more gambly. So be careful with that. All the new people that I love, be careful with that. Um, but if you want to spend money, uh, this is going to be the best way to do it to get a good solid return. Um, and then how you want to spend your diamonds is upgrading your core. Uh, pet is definitely going to be the next most important one. And the reason that I keep saying that um, is that your pets can get abilities to boost, uh, <clears throat> boost certain stats of yours. So that can be very, very, very beneficial. Um, to your strength and everything so core allies pets then motor definitely coming in last <laughs> i'm sorry motor there's some really cool motors let me show you guys some of the cool motors <sighs> i can be ridden around by an old lady pushing a cart where is it This is a beautiful game, y'all. I appreciate you if you're a new player and you're trying to get some solid information on the game. Um, definitely check out my guides. I've been covering this game for about a month now. Um, so we've got a fair amount of stuff on each of the classes, on some of the systems in the game that can be pretty confusing, which is most of them, um, and just kind of all kinds of other stuff. So uh, let me know if there's something that you don't see that you'd like to know about. Um, and then also, as always, feel free to hit me up with questions in chat. I will do my best to respond to all the comments. And if I'm not able to get to you, um, so far I'm starting to notice a really awesome community that will come in and uh, provide some really solid uh, information. So I love you guys. I appreciate all that. <sighs> it's been your boy Patty, and I'm sorry for wasting 22 minutes of your day. All right, we out of here. Deuces.